So it is a, what day of the week is it? Third, no, Wednesday. That's how this week it's has been Wednesday. going. Thanks, Siri. <laughs> We're at a park and there's a swan. Hi, little monkey. Yeah. There are Tyler and Gigi. The swan is right, oh, right there. It seems to like live here. And I don't know, she, she just said, bye swan. She keeps calling it a swan, which is just funny. I, uh, I feel like the swan used, has like lived here a while and there was like a partner. And I don't know what about swans, like if they, are swans someone that like mate for life type thing? I feel like they do. And I think, I think something must have happened to her partner or his, I have no idea. But anyway, uh, yeah, that swan is usually here and it's so cool. Ooh, another stormy night. We just got back from the park, like just in time. So eerie. I love a good rainy evening though. Pinocchio, he'll come back in. He'll be safe. Pinocchio. He's like, I'm living my best life. I'll be out here for the storm. <laughs> so it is now Thursday morning. I keep having to think of what day of the week. This has just been a weird, I feel like every week has been weird since we had Felicity and that's just the truth. But I did want to mention early on in this vlog, by the way, that it is sponsored by Thrive Market. We're going to talk about that in just a little bit. So we had an interesting morning. We overslept just a bit and Gigi had preschool, but it's kind of, it's still their summer camp. So it's not like she has to be there by a certain time. We try to get her there by a certain time anyway. So we overslept, so we were already in a rush. I'm trying to nurse Felicity. So Pinocchio was in our bed. I'd gotten up, I was done feeding her, and he literally all of a sudden just throws up in our bed. <laughs> we're like, no, and I, <laughs> the only way I knew that it happened <laughs> is I was in here getting changed, and I hear Tyler go, no, 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 no. <laughs> And I walk in mid, you know, mid throw up. I'm like, no. And the reason this is extra annoying, you know, and poor Pinocchio, like he's okay. But and every once in a while, just something doesn't settle right. My point of the story is we had just, I, hi buddy, I talking about you. Hi, he's a boy. You feeling better? You say, yeah, I'm feeling metal. Of course, by the way, right after he threw up, he proceeds to try to eat it. We're like, no, 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 if it made you sick, don't. <laughs> anyway, my point is we had just, just cleaned our sheets and duvet cover and we had just remade the bed like two nights before. And you guys know how annoying it is to put a duvet cover on, period. <laughs> and so we were like, no, we gotta do it again. <laughs> Anyway, so that is the story of our morning. It's been wild. Felicity is now napping. Tyler's running some errands, so I need to uh, film a video today. I wanted to film a reel of the new e.l.f. Halo Glow stuff. This is the stuff that is supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury, and I have that too. So I'm going to try to film a reel of that. Of course, by the time you're seeing this video, that reel is, or TikTok is definitely already up, so you should check it out if you have it. But uh, yeah, that that is the plans. Those are the plans for the day. I am, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm dilly dallying. So I need to, I need to get to work. Also, who says dilly dally? Anyone? My mom, I said that growing up and I remember saying that in mixed company a year or two ago. I said like, yeah, I was just dilly dallying and they were like, what? And I was like, like procrastinating, you know, just messing around. <laughs> They had never heard of dilly dallying. Is that a common phrase or am I the weird one? <laughs> I'm probably the weird one. So I'm at my vanity here and uh, I ordered these on Wayfair, these new knobs. So instead of these kind of crystally ones, which honestly kept popping off. <laughs> so I was like, well, I could glue them. And then I kind of thought about it. And I'm like, well, if I'm getting a new stool for this area, might as well update the knobs to be something I really, really like. How pretty are these? They were... I wanna say a couple bucks each on Wayfair, so I just bought four of them and they came in like a day, which is crazy. Anyway, so I'm putting them on and it works. And the two screws that it came with, I realized don't fit with like the way that this is, like the width. So I just used the original screw that it came with and it worked perfectly. So how updated does that look? I love that. So here's the kind of finished look. I'm excited to get the camel colored, uh, ottoman or whatever you'd call it stool for this because i think it's going to be cute but yay tiny little project done good morning good morning it is friday so i'm going for the very first time 
to a true yoga class. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. I'm actually going with Tyler, my husband, and he randomly, he is not the type of person, like he likes to run, he does triathlons, like that kind of thing. But he randomly was like, I wanna try yoga. I just wanna get out of my comfort zone and try something different. I was like, go you, like, yes. So he signed up for a class and did it. And he's been doing 6 a.m. classes. <laughs> and it's a hot yoga studio. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, like it's a lot. So we're not doing 6 a.m., we're doing a 9.30 because obviously for both of us to be gone, we need someone watching the girls. So that is what we're doing in just a little bit. So I'm trying to eat well before the class. So that way it's not like, I don't wanna feel like heavy in my stomach like while we're doing this so i am excited because i've done plenty of yoga before okay baby <laughs> she keeps waking up felicity i'm like honey please don't wake her up <laughs> anyway uh yeah so it's hot yoga i'm nervous excited i'll let you know how it goes oh that's what i was saying i've done yoga before but it was always like in like it was classes but it was like people were coming i don't know I guess I'm curious to see what it's like to go to an actual yoga studio. I would always do it at dance studios and I always wondered like if they were the same. Also, it was like eight, nine years ago. So that's the other piece of it. So anyway, that's all. I'm nervous. <laughs> Look how red my face is. We did it, guys. We did it. Um, honestly, not. Uh, here's the thing. The random yo bits of yoga I've done in my life, I have always wondered. I think I said this earlier, you know, like, is that what an actual class would be like. And yes, it was. <laughs> I literally was like, oh, I felt really comfortable doing a lot of those moves. So that was nice. But boy, the, the hot yoga, the heat part of it, I have never sweat so much in my entire life. Like to the point 10 minutes in, I literally had so much sweat. It was like getting in my eyes and burning. I'm like, oh, <laughs> like how do people do this? So I told Tyler, I wanna try it one more time and try the other kind. So this kind of yoga was vinyasa. The other kind is hatha. Tyler said the Hatha was easier. I don't know, we'll see. So I'm, I wanna try at least that, and then I wanna try a non-hot yoga place, because this one only does that version. And I'd like to try just like a regular yoga class without the heat, because I was thinking about it, I'm like, I don't know. The heat is great, and I, I'm assuming you burn more calories. I really haven't looked a ton into like the benefits. I'm sure there's a lot, but it's just hot, and I don't do well being hot. So anyway, but it was. I'm so proud of myself. I told Genevieve, I said, honey, mommy was nervous about doing something, and I did it and I was very brave and I'm proud of myself. And she was like, did you miss me? She, but I'm trying to like instill in her that, cause she gets nervous and anxious for things the way any of us do. And I'm trying to instill in her that you can, you're allowed to feel nervous. It's good to feel nervous, but that you need to be brave and do those things. And you'll feel so proud of yourself. So hopefully that's getting through at some point, I guess we'll see. Time will tell, but it's a good day. Hi, hi, hi. It is now Monday. Gosh, that seems crazy. So I obviously didn't vlog this weekend. We had a really nice weekend. We kind of relaxed. We got things done that needed to get done. We spent some time with some friends. So it was just an all around nice weekend. Also, Tyler <laughs> set up Gigi's little uh, pool. It is, well, let me just show you. There she blows. Gigi spent hours in this pool yesterday. <laughs> and uh, we got it on Amazon. It wasn't super expensive, but having that shade on top is huge because then she wasn't just in the sun all day. You know what I mean? Having that. So it was nice. I even sat in there with my swimsuit and had little Felicity in there with us. So it was a, it was a nice way to cool off this weekend. But I mentioned earlier that a portion of this video is sponsored by Thrive Market and that is this portion here. So I've talked about Thrive Market a ton here on my channel. We love shopping on Thrive Market for pantry staples, snacks, that's probably the, the number one thing we buy, but also ingredients for dinners like olive oil and stuff. But I've recently started clicking around and looking at a lot of their beauty items. I'm gonna talk about a couple, one that I already know I like and one that I'm excited to try from a new brand from Thrive Market, but I'm getting ahead of myself here. If you haven't heard of Thrive Market, it is an online membership-based marketplace. It's a grocery store, kind of all in one. I love it because your order will ship free if it is over $49, which is huge. And I also like that it's really easy to navigate through the site. They have organic, paleo, gluten-free, non-GMO, Whole30. They have so many different options for so many different ways of eating, and I think that is so cool. So let me show you what I got this time around here in this box. So one of our favorite favorite discoveries is the grass-fed beef jerky from this Archer brand. 
Tyler, my husband, loves this. I really like the classic. It has no sugar. So if you're trying to watch how much sugar you're eating, this one has zero sugar. Actually, I'm sorry. All of them do. That's awesome. So we also got the spicy meat. <laughs> I knew I would say it that way. Spicy sesame garlic and mustard barbecue. I know he's going to love. And like I said, the classic. These are so good. We also really like their beef sticks. Those are good. We're big fans of beef jerky in this household. So I bought these before and they are so good. These are the Good Pop Organic Freezer Pops. So these are popsicles, but they're just a little bit healthier. There's no added sugar than the ones we've all bought at the grocery store. You know the kind, but I love them. So they're perfect for the summer. Gigi and I can both kill like two of these in a row. So I'm glad that there's no sugar added to it. <laughs> but these are really, really good. So if you're looking for maybe a slightly healthier alternative, I would look into these. Okay, one of our favorites that I buy all the time is this flavor of the kind bars these are the dark chocolate nuts and sea salt oh these are so good they've got that crunch that sweet like it is everything and I like that you can get a bigger pack this one has 12 bars instead of like the smaller boxes that have I don't know four or six I like getting the big pack because I eat them I wanted to try these for Genevieve these are the go go squeeze but they're pudding it's an almond blend pudding Again, it has 30% less sugar. Of course, it's chocolate flavored. So I figured I would try these with her and see if she uh, likes them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try one too. So I mentioned that Thrive Market launched their new brand. It's got like body care and different things like that. So the brand is called Fae, which is F-A-E, and that stands for For All Everywhere. And I've got two products here. One that I am really loving. I'm excited to have another one of the Mineral Sunscreen Spray. This is an SPF of 30, water resistant. It's just so easy. We spray it on like anytime we're in the backyard. Gigi and I both use it and I love, it's fragrance free, reef friendly and paraben and phthalate free. So I feel really good about using this, especially on her, but on both of us, it's nice to just use the same one. So totally recommend this if you need some sunscreen and you're buying from Thrive Market anyway, definitely add this to your cart. The thing I really wanna try and I might try near the end of this vlog is their bentonite clay. So it says it's 100% natural calcium bentonite clay it's sourced from the mojave desert in california so you can use it as like a face mask you can use it as a body mask you can use it for a foot soak so i'm like that's so cool that it's kind of multifaceted or multi-purpose so it says you just mix the clay with equal parts warm water or you can even mix it with apple cider vinegar if you want a more intense mask. So I'll probably start with water, but I'm excited to give this a try later. I'll share that with you. It comes with a ton, so I feel like this would last you quite a while, and I like that the bag is resealable. So just a new brand I wanted to give a little love to because I think they've got some really cool stuff. So they also have a couple of skincare products, some argan oil. They have a really gentle body lotion I wanna try too. So lots to look out for if you're wanting some nice, healthier options for your body care, your skincare, and stuff like that. So let me show you what else I got. Well, this comes as no surprise. I love these. I, I eat one of these a day. These are the Noka superfood smoothies. So this one has fiber, prebiotic fiber, and it's a strawberry pineapple. Yeah. And then this one is also with prebiotic fiber. They also have some immunity boost ones. But this one is blueberry beet. They're all, we have not had one that was gross. These are all delicious and they are packed Full of so much good stuff so if you're someone like short on time and you're like I need something in the morning or mid-afternoon to like pick me up that's actually good for me those and they're delicious so I also got the get back to human grain-free crackers pizza I want to try I want to try these I so I always joke that pizza flavored things I've been saying this since I was a kid like pizza flavored um, Pringles taste like pencil lead to me <laughs> But Tyler loves pizza flavored things. So I'm like, I think there's something wrong with my taste buds. Hmm. This pizza flavor is a lot lighter, but it's good. It's not so offensive. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Yeah. These are gluten free. So I bet my mom will like to snack all these too, but I'll have to have Tyler try them. So I also grabbed Maxine's Heavenly super soft peanut butter chocolate chunk cookies. We're gonna try these too. These are also gluten-free. Like I, I've said before, my mom eats a gluten-free diet, so I try to have things on hand that she can snack on because she's here um, often. Ooh, yeah, look how good that looks. Okay, it said that it's sweetened by nature. It has coconut sugar and dates. It's better than you'd think, like it genuinely is. Dang, this would be good with a glass of milk. And lastly, coffee. We always get coffee 
Uh, it is the Breakfast Blend, which is one of our absolute favorites. I really think their coffee is so good and it's such a good deal for the amount you get. And that's huge because coffee, especially for organic coffee, gets wildly pricey. So this is a good deal. Dang, that cookie is like still in my mouth. It was really good. I feel like a lot of things that are sweetened with dates are like too date e. That was not overpowering. Like I didn't, it just tasted sweet. It didn't taste like dates, which I appreciate because I'm not the biggest date fan. I just said date way too many times. Want to go on a date? I was trying to see. I want to look and see if they have other flavors because now I'm like intrigued to add more to my cart. But anyway, so that's another thing. So Thrive Market, of course, has a website and they also have their app. We use the app more than anything because we can just, we both have it on our phone. Anytime we think of like, oh, we're almost out of coffee, we can add it to the cart. And like I said, once you get to that $49 threshold, we check out. We don't have to pay for shipping. It's awesome. So Thrive Market can actually cut your grocery bill by up to 30%, which is huge. As I've gone in stores, I've noticed that a lot of the things I'm typically buying on Thrive are more expensive in the actual store. So it feels really good saving money on those things I'm gonna be buying anyway, you know? And they do offer a price match guarantee. So that means if you find that product at a cheaper price elsewhere, they will match it for you guaranteed, which I think is really cool because the whole thing is that you're getting those membership only discounts. And I really do find that as I look at a lot of these products in store, they are a lot cheaper on Thrive Market, which I appreciate. <laughs> I also love that Thrive has carbon neutral shipping from their zero waste warehouses. So I feel good about ordering from them. And I just love it. You can get everything you need. Like I said, they've got baby care stuff, pet care, body, makeup, uh, obviously food. They've got frozen foods. Like you can literally get anything and everything you need. I think they even have wine from Thrive Market, which is really, really nice. So if you wanna check out Thrive Market for yourself, you can go to thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Braun, and that will get you 30% off of your first order and a free gift worth up to $50. So it is an awesome time to join. They always have some really great offer, and this is a really good one. I wanna look into these free gifts up to $50. I'm like, dang. <laughs> So it is, it's a really good time to join. So definitely check it out. I will have the link for Thrive Market right at the top of the description box. And thank you again, Thrive Market, for sponsoring this portion of the video. And now I'm off to maybe eat another cookie. <laughs> okay, try the pizza crackers. Cause you like pizza flavored things. I do, mostly pizza. Mostly pizza. That is good. I do have peanut butter cookie in my mouth, though. Oh, yeah. I had him try one of those. You really liked the cookies, though, right? I should have tried that first. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's really good, though. Not bad. But the cookies are even better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yep. I'm a fan of both. Nice. So, special delivery to me. Just got some of these. I actually don't know how to pronounce it. Is it Hoka or Hoka? But I've heard they are really good running shoes. So, I took, like, their quiz online um to basically be paired with which of their shoes would make sense for my running style my type of feet so that was nice i love the colors together and I'm, I'm just excited to give them a try i need a new running shoes anyway i've always gone with the nike pegasus but the last ones i bought just and i don't know if it's because i was pregnant and postpartum but they just weren't the same like they weren't as comfortable and easy to run in as my other ones they were it was weird so we're gonna give these a try they are very expensive as are most really good running shoes but i I'm excited. I really am. I hope they're as awesome as everyone says they are. So it is nighttime. I'm going to try this uh, bentonite clay stuff. So I said equal parts with the like clay and warm water. I think I might need a little more warm water. I'm excited. I've, I, I love the idea of masking, but I don't always have the time. There's that. But also like some masks are so expensive and I feel like they all just do such different things. But I like the idea of this being detoxifying and it's cool that you can kind of cater it how you want. Like if you want a more intense one, you can do the apple cider vinegar. I don't know. I feel like my face would feel like it was on fire with vinegar all over it. But I know some people I feel like, you, like my skin is just slightly sensitive. Nothing crazy, but anyway. All right, so we are gonna put this all over the face. I don't know if I made enough or not. I just kind of guesstimated. I'm literally using a little spoon that is like a measuring spoon for medicine, but you're gonna give her a whirl. <laughs> I guess I could use, I don't have like a, uh, um, what are those, the uh, like masking little like applicators. I used to have one, I don't have one anymore. I always feel like my main areas where I'm always like congested, it's probably the same as most, 
like right in my nose region and right there in the, I mean I guess just the t-zone like this area right there down to the chin is seemingly just always feels congested in some way you know and especially like right in there I like getting in that spot because that's where you know if you ever like look in the mirror up close and go and look, it, it looks weird on everyone, man. Like that is such a weird area of the face. So it says to leave this on for 15 minutes. I feel like I could do a little more on the cheeks. Anyway, so 15 minutes and we will see how we're feeling. <laughs> I look like a ghost. Praying I did not wake up my little baby. Cause she's right in there and I sometimes forget and I talk loud like no one lives here. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> All right, we are. <laughs> 15 minutes in, we were feeling nice and dry the way clay masks should be. Um, I feel like the mummy. <laughs> so let me rinse this off. <sighs> that felt good. I have to say it came off easier with warm water than what I remember clay masks coming off. You know what I mean? Like I feel like ones I used in the past, they take a while to get off and this came off nice and easy. Like I said, as long as you had warm water and it definitely felt like, like my skin was like, yes, like it detoxed it just enough. So that I enjoyed it. I'm excited to use it again. It says you can use it like two to three times a week. So, and I'd also be curious eventually to try it as that foot soak. So we'll see. Okay. Retainers are in. Time for bed. Okay, so a little update. It is now Tuesday. Update on the running shoes. I ran with them yesterday on the treadmill. I meant to say this last night. And they felt so comfortable. Like there was no break-in period. I ran like two and a half miles and some of it was sprinting. Some of it was like uphill. It was like a class I was following. And at no point did I have, like it, it felt amazing. So obviously Hoka, however you say it, makes a million different kinds of shoes depending on like your feet and your needs. But I am very happy that I finally bought them because like I said, the old ones, I just repurchased the same kind, like the Nike Pegasus. Whatever they did to the new design is just different. And I don't know if it was because I was pregnant and then postpartum and your feet kind of change, but they were not comfortable. Like they were so uncomfortable to run in. So anyway, very excited about that. And I wanted to update you in case any of you guys were interested. I'm sure only some of you are, but whatever. <laughs> there you go. But I love you guys. We're going to end the video here. I am excited to be vlogging a bit more often on my channel. I hope you're enjoying it too. And thank you again to Thrive Market for sponsoring a part of this video. Again, if you want to check out Thrive Market for yourself, you can go to thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Braun, and that will get you 30% off your first order and a free gift up to $50, which is amazing. So thank you Thrive for continuing to support my channel here. It really is appreciated. And I love you guys too. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. And of course, if you want to watch more of my vlogs, I will link my playlist. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.